Guard Sector Command. I'm at direct your call. Sir. Lilac, don't you have a new baby to get home to? I'm here as long as you are, sir. You have NOAA on line four. Captain Maine here. What? How big? Okay, I'm on my way. Problem, sir? Get me snipes. Right away, sir. some of these people drown and give them CPR. <laughs> Still no show, huh? Oh, I'm sure he's on his way. You're hopeless. Planes are big, babe. Planes are big. This, this is my night. Flowers? I changed my mind. Your dad needs to get here now. Oh, really? Why is that? Uh, so somebody will introduce me to Hayden. <laughs> what? I thought you were over him. Besides, doesn't your dad like Hayden? No. The Hayden that I knew, he doesn't exist anymore. Well, he wanted you on a ship, didn't he? <laughs> to be continued. How you doing? How you guys doing? You having a good time? Enjoy yourself. Let's go, man. Hello. Hello. Good to have you on. Oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. What's your name, darling? Tammy. I love that. There you go, Tammy. Sure. What's your name? These books don't look any safer than the old ones. Just for show, darling. The real bad boys are down below. Let me guess. Work. Well, there's a calving glacier up in Greenland they want me to investigate. Dad, the ship is amazing. 
There's nothing to worry about. Just... It's not the outside of the vessel that I'm concerned about. I'm, look, we had this conversation. I don't want you on that boat. We agreed that this was good for me. Yeah, well, that's before I realized the rush job that they had committed to in order to make this anniversary date. Dad, did the ship pass inspection? Barely. Five minutes, sir. Uh, honey, I, I gotta go. We'll check back in later. Huh? Okay. Bye bye. Great to see you. Good to see you too. Welcome aboard the Titanic too. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> Amy. Glad you can make it. Thanks. Yeah, everything looks really nice. You did a good job. How's your dad doing? He's good. We'll see you around. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for coming, for joining me on this day that'll go down in this nation's history. A day where an eye to the future triumphed over our defeats of the past. A day where the lives lost on board this ship's predecessor were remembered with the creation of the greatest, fastest, most sophisticated ship ever created, the Titanic II. <laughs> Standing next to me here, I'd like to introduce you to the man at the helm of this vessel, our ship's captain, Captain Will Howard. Please, uh, I ask that all of you enjoy yourselves as we embark on our maiden voyage across the Atlantic Ocean and into the history book. you up there.
This is uh, Coast Guard 6565, five, over. We read you 6565. Five. How we looking, Captain? We're gonna be landing in a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I have the Coast Guard on standby. Have another one of your bad feelings, Captain? You can say that. For you instead of any other sector commander it's because your reputation precedes you and i need someone to take me seriously when i tell them we're standing on a ticking time bomb oh i'm listening the wave from yesterday's collapse was felt as far as baffin island in northern canada the piece of ice that broke off this glacier was about the size of manhattan imagine what a piece the size of rhode island would do well i imagine it would push a swell halfway across the atlantic Try all the way across. These mass balance measurements show that when the temperatures warm, the balance tips. The ice begins calving and retreating. These geodetic images tell us that the glacier we're standing on now has thinned over 60 meters in the past year. It's unprecedented. Exactly. I think there's something that you need to see. Of course, there's no such thing as global warming, right? You want to tell me what the hell I'm looking at? Yesterday's collapse. Jesus. You ever throw a pebble in a pond, Captain? Watch the ripples spread outward? If yesterday's collapse was a pebble, the next one will be a cannonball. Now picture the Atlantic Ocean as the pond. Masterpiece? Yeah, I was, as a matter of fact. Aren't you gonna be late for your party? Well, it's my ship. I figured they'd wait for me. Besides, I kind of like to make a late entrance. You know, I called you. Yeah. It only took you six months. Well, your father punched me in the nose. What'd you expect? He caught you joyriding in his boat at 2 a.m. I think he had a right. Still a daddy's girl, huh? Oh, look who's talking. I didn't mean it. I was really sorry to hear about your dad. I know how close you were. Don't mention it. So, it looks like he left you in charge. CEO of Walsh Industries. I always thought you'd end up in the Coast Guard. Yeah, well, 
When you're offered the keys to an empire, it's kind of hard to say no. You still got the uh, earrings I gave you. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of earrings, so... Yeah, well, I like those. You could have called me back, you know. Then what, hey? Pretend like everything was the way it was? Let's face it, you cared a lot more about your money and your boats than you did about me. Yeah, well, I did need your, uh, paranoid father looking over my shoulder my whole life. I wasn't talking about my father. I was talking about us. You chose a different life. That's fine, I understand. Besides, it looks like you're pretty happy with your decision. Well, uh, you better get back inside. You don't want to miss your party. We're flying, sir. She'll have us to the Titanic by dawn. Well done, Elmer. Keep her steady. Water reading's at 31 degrees. Ironic, isn't it? How's that? The same reading as 100 years ago. Well, fortunately for us, we have enough lifeboats this time. Plus, I think we're gonna avoid that ice field as well. <laughs> yes, sir. Listen, sir, I, uh, I need to remind you, we haven't fully stretched her legs yet. If we should need to speed up, we'll relax, like Elmer. She may look like her predecessor, but underneath she's anything but. Yes, sir. How long do we have before it collapses? It's hard to say. But when it does, the entire North Atlantic will be devastated by the shock.
NOAA is tracking it, Admiral, but we don't have a lot of time. You have to issue an immediate Atlantic-wide tsunami alert. Already done, James. The warning's being issued as we speak. Good. We're going to need the Navy and the Coast Guard and the National Guard. Everybody we get our hands on. When this thing hits, it's going to hit on. How much time do we have? You know, from what I could see, we don't have any time at all. Get me through to the warning center. They're going to need the dark readings ASAP. we got to find out how fast this thing is moving. And have them relay back to me all the data. we got to move fast. Sir, what about ships at sea? Well, they should be fine. The tsunami only forms up when it gets close to land. Ships at sea should be unaffected. Uh, but that's not entirely true, Captain. Ships at the surface may be fine, but everything underneath will be affected. This is the North Atlantic. Ice? Exactly. The base of an iceberg can reach depths hundreds of feet below the surface, so if the wave hits, things can get pushed. All right. Uh, Admiral! Listen, we need to issue a radio alert to every ship in the Atlantic. Tell them to steer clear of any signs of ice. I repeat, tell them to stay away from the icebergs. Consider it done, James. One more thing. Do you have any eyes on the Titanic, too? We're watching everybody, James. What do you need? Let's see what the Navy has in the area. Tell them we're going to have to get them into position. Copy that. Where to? Latitude 40 degrees 46 north. Longitude 50 degrees 14 west. All right, confirm settings, mount the chart. Let's get this cigar smoked. Titanic was warned six times about icebergs and still did nothing? Ignorance is bliss, right? Anyway, about Hayden. Infirmary. Ladies, I need one of you on deck. Uh, Doc, we're kind of in the middle of an important conversation. Does it matter? I need one of you on deck to start escorting passengers down to the lower decks. We're on it. Why are they escorting passengers down to the lower decks? Gentlemen, I'd like you to have your attention, please. Um, could all of the passengers aboard Titanic 2 please uh, exit these doors right here, head to your left to the elevators, and go down to the lower deck at this time? This is strictly a safety precaution. Again, no need to worry. Thank you. How long ago? Just now, sir. The Coast Guard has issued an ocean wide alert. Coast Guard? That's great. What the hell caused it? An ice glacier collapsed off the coast of Greenland. We're well prepared for icebergs. It's not the iceberg, Mr. Walsh. It's the 800 mile an hour tsunami that has everyone concerned. How much time? Noah's mapping travel time now, sir. Stay in line with the Coast Guard. Captain, if this thing's gonna pass right beneath us, we're in deep water, we won't even feel it. Captain, Coast Guards of the VHF monitors. This is Captain Howard. 
Captain Howard, this is Captain James Bain, U.S. Coast Guard. We're listening, Captain. Do you see any ice fields in your area? That's a negative, sir. Sir, I need you to reverse direction of your ship. Sir? This wave is moving with incredible force. Now, any ice in its path will be moved along with it. Now, I need you to head west as quickly as your engines will carry you. The warmer the water, the less chance you'll have of running into any ice. For God's sakes, James, I know looks can be deceiving, but can I remind you this is Titanic 2? The ship is equipped with state-of-the-art ice detectors that'll sound if we get within 500 yards of an ice cube. Hayden, this wave is clocking in at 843 miles per hour. Now, 500 yards isn't gonna make a damn bit of difference. Now, you get hit by any ice, it's gonna tear your ship in half. Two successes. How much time do we have? What's the time to impact? 15 minutes at most. You got 15 minutes. Jesus. What's our distance? Northeast, 40 degrees and headed our way, sir, about 13 miles. How much time? Any minute, sir. Time! Sir, there's Do no it! Time. Mr. Walsh, can I remind you that these engines have not been thoroughly broken in yet? If we push them... She's built for speed. She can handle it. Take her to 50. Yes, sir. Take her to 50, please. Yes, sir. Concerns, I guess. What, they turn the boat around while they're speeding up over weather concerns? That's all they told me. Yeah, something's wrong. Amy, this is Dad. Listen, uh, listen to me. Something has happened. There's a tsunami. It's headed south through the Atlantic. It's going to reach your ship in a matter of minutes. And I want you to pay attention. Now, stay off the lower decks. There's ice in the water. It's being pushed in your direction. I need you to get as many people to the upper decks as you can. Just keep in the center of the ship. Get away from the railings. And if anything happens, just be calm. Let's get to a lifeboat, right? Be careful. Your daughter? Um, yeah, nurse. Sir, we're running extremely low with fuel, sir. Where can you refuel? Canadian Coast Guard, Regional Operations Center in St. John, sir. Okay, get there fast. Yes, sir. We're at 
50 knots, Captain. Very good. Sir, we just lost engine one. Shut him down. We can't. We have to. We can blow another one. We can't stop this ship. Three more engines. Exactly. You want to blow all three? And I both know that this ship's engines have not been properly broken in. They need to cool down. The turbines. The turbines add additional power, but we can't run on them alone. Being pulled. Sound the alarm. Attention, attention. This is your captain speaking. All passengers, acquire your life vests. All passengers, acquire your life vests. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Attention, attention. This is your captain speaking. All passengers, acquire your life vests. All passengers, acquire your life vests. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. starboard side is folded inward. There are cracks up and down the hull. It crushed the life ramps to the boats on the starboard side. 
How many of them? All of them. That's half the lifeboats on board. What about the boats on deck? Those are showboats. They don't even float. The bulkheads. The watertight bulkheads were designed for a head-on collision. We never anticipated being hit from the side. What are you saying? She'll continue to list. As we take in water, she'll tilt further and further to starboard. How long? Two hours, maybe three if the turbines. And if they don't? And the ship goes down. The entire thing will be underwater within 30 minutes. Okay, begin the evacuation, fill all the boats that we have. Women and children first. Looks like history's repeating itself. search and rescue now. Navy's got a destroyer about 40 miles west. It'll reach the Titanic within an hour. Admiral, that ship does not have an hour. Now we need planes and we need choppers in the area immediately. Captain, Titanic is fitted with more than enough lifeboats. We may not have seen the end of this glacier collapse, sir. If there's another wave, those lifeboats aren't going to do anybody any good. Hadley, my daughter's on that ship. I understand. Now, sir, but we're pushing it. 
Okay, well tell them to refuel us and then carry forward to the ship. Yes, sir. Patterson. I want every available SAR aircraft we have. Get them in the air now! Sir. What is it, Lilac? I think you need to see this. This is a pre-existing dark model, right? No, sir. That's a live feed.
USS Titanic II come in. This is the U.S. Coast Guard. Over. Captain Maine? Captain, talk to me. We're going down on the starboard side, 30 degrees west. Okay, Captain, you need to get your people out of the lifeboat. Half the lifeboat ramps were crushed on impact. The lifeboats are death traps. Understand me, Captain. There's another wave coming.
Answer. Dad. Ed? Are, are you in a lifeboat? No, no, we're trapped. The ship's sinking. What do you mean you're trapped? I'm with Hayden and Kelly. We're, we're stuck in an elevator. Okay, okay, listen to me. Listen to me now. Help is on the way. So am I. Just, I want you to stay away from the lifeboats. Just stay out of the lifeboats. What? What do you mean? Honey, there's another wave coming. It's bigger than the last one. When it comes, it's going to be big. What? When it comes, it's going to wipe away everything that's in the water, including the lifeboats. They're not going to make it. So your best bet is to stay on the ship. Now the wave will roll it, but it's strong, and the, the wave won't take it with it. James, how much time do we have? Uh, about 30 minutes. Listen, Hayden, are there any diving tanks on board? Yeah, the diving facility. Can you get to them? I think so. Good, we'll get to them. Hang on until we get to you. You, uh, you made me believe you were an honorable man once, hey? I want you to make me believe it again. Get my daughter in those times. Dad, I'm so scared. I know, sweetie. It's all right. It's all right. Just do what I told you. It's going to be fine. If I don't make it... Don't! Don't even say that. Well, it's going to be fine. We'll be there, honey. We're on our way. Shut! 
what we need. Right? I don't know. You're a nurse. I'm, I'm not an electrician. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Thank you. 
you okay? Yeah. What happened? We're capsized. The whole ship flooded. Can you move? Yeah, yeah. We gotta get up. Try to stand up. Okay. Come on, give me your hand. It's freezing. Okay. We gotta get out of here. Give me your hand. You okay? I was leaning against the door. What are we gonna do? The water's gonna rise fast. The whole thing's gonna be underwater after five minutes. Okay, we gotta get this on you. Come on. Ready? We're driving through. No use. We'll budge. Okay. Every diving harness has an emergency alert unit. How does it work? It sends out a distress signal. I don't know say our horny frequencies. We got it. Okay. The heat in the water's freezing. Don't worry. The suit'll keep you warm. What about you? I think the temperature might be the least of my worries. A lost diver beacon on the SAR frequency. Looks like it's coming from Titanic 2. Look. How low can you get me? Okay, listen. I'm gonna take off the wetsuit. Not a chance. Hayden. Forget about it. It's not enough. Hayden, you're gonna freeze to death. I'm gonna drop before that. Okay, then we're gonna share. We're gonna share the air tank. We can take turns breathing. Okay. Why? I'm gonna freeze to death anyway. Then what's your plan? Okay. Listen to me. The ship has air buckets. Watertight rooms. It's gonna slow the sinking. It's taken. Hold about 30 minutes of air. You work as long as you can. I'm gonna be here by now. Wait, wait, I don't... They probably already got the signal. Hold on a second! They can find you! What about you? I drowned. If they get here soon enough, I could be revived. No. This is the only no. way. No, 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 Hayden! Listen to me, damn it! Be logical. If we share the tank, I'm dead anyway from the cold, and you're half out of it. Water is cold to turn my blood like ice water. I have a better chance of survival in this kind of damage. But I don't have any chance if you did, too. Okay? This is my fault, I mean. <laughs> no. Come on. Let's turn the air on. Oh, 
Gracias. Ahí te dejo el video. Te lo tiro. No, güey, no.
Shh. Sure.